Shopify president, Harley Finkelstein, who, um, why are you smiling? Are you smiling for, it's not just stock. That's not why. It's because you're helping all of these startups and entrepreneurs become part of the American dream. That, I think that that accounts for it. Does it not, Harley? Well, and obviously joining you, Joe, is always a, a great pleasure. But no, there's a lot to be optimistic <laughs> about here. Uh, tr truly, this has been a transformative year for commerce, and it's going to establish the blueprint for the next 10 years of retail. And so let's get into the report here, because it's it's the first time we're doing this. It marries both global merchant and consumer data. It's called Future of Commerce 2021. We surveyed 10,000 shoppers in 11 countries, and we looked at Shopify data all the way back from 2018 till September of this year. So we know that commerce is a relationship between a business and its consumers. And so we sort of took both sides of the coin on this report, the consumer side and also the merchant side. And there are two critical perspectives that I, I really want to talk about today with you, Joe. The first is young consumers are not only shifting their spending online, but they're engaging in shopping in a completely different way. But the second thing that I think might be surprising to your audience is that many of those younger consumers, they're also looking for creative ways to make money and they're starting businesses on their own. So on the consumer side, uh, the next generation of consumers and merchants are changing the business landscape. 67% of younger consumers shifted their spending online since the pandemic was started. Uh, that's about, that's uh, compared to 54% last year. Now, their habits are also completely different. Uh, they are discovering and shopping via social media. They prefer to shop, and, and, and this idea of conscious consumerism is coming up a lot for them. They want to buy sustainable green products. But also, they want to shop from independent brands, and that is a major change. 50% of consumers are looking now for independently owned businesses to support because they want to buy products and experiences and vote with their wallets for those brands to exist. So whether it's fast or free shipping, it's conversational commerce or shoppable uh, social media, retailers and brands that, will want, that want to be successful in the future will have to do this. The other side, which is, I think, why okay, I'm smiling so much, is, 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 is the ahead. rise of, of entrepreneurship by, by younger merchants. Um, many of those same younger consumers, they're also looking for creative ways to make money. And, and this really is the rise of, of the young merchant. So we know that uh, obviously those aged 25 and under are 2.5 times more likely to be without a job because of the pandemic. We also know that 35% of young Americans started a side hustle during the pandemic. The Census Bureau came out and said that uh, we saw the largest amount of business registrations in Q3. So what is happening is that these younger People are starting businesses at a much higher rate. Most of them are doing it on Shopify, which is why you saw more, uh, more signups in Q3 than ever before. But the way they're doing it is totally different. They're using avenues like TikTok. TikTok recently came out and said that entrepreneurship content is king with more than 7.2 billion views around that idea of entrepreneurship content. So what does this all mean? It means that the shopping habits of today are going to be the influence, uh, are going to influence their selling habits in the future. These young consumers are going to be the shopkeepers of 2021. And the way they buy is going to be the way they're going to sell. And I think this is some of the most exciting times of retail uh, of certainly the last couple of decades. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.